Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today we're going to talk about dimensions. So the dimensions tool lets you draw dimensions. Now more to intro there, let's hop in and do it. All right, so the dimensions tool is definitely like a, a precision tool. So I'm going to be going point to point with my dimensions a lot. So we're going to focus on using the right tool for the job, primarily the pencil. We'll use a little bit of mouse, but those are the tools we're going to look at for inputting dimensions. Uh, if I come in here and I turn on just draw mode to place a dimension, dimensions, by the way, is not part of the default toolbar. So it's not going to show up on here. You will have to hit the little ellipse and pull dimensions out from there. So if I want to put a dimension in, I'm just going to put on this stair right here. How wide is the stair? I'm going to touch one end of the stair, move my pencil, and release at the other end of the stair, and then grab my new dimension and pull it up and place release where I want it to place. So it's going to look like this. Touch, move, release. Touch, move, release. And you can see there, uh, when it was placing it, it, I moved along the blue axes automatically. The inferencing kept me straight, and I, I put it right there. Uh, if I go to click, move, click mode, very similar right here. What I'm going to do this time is it's going to be three clicks. I'm going to hard press on one point, hard press on another point, and then hard press to place my dimension. So it looks like this. Hard press, hard press, hard press. And there's my dimension. Pretty easy. Uh, with the mouse, very similar. Um, I'm going to come in here, click, click, and then as I drag out, I can use snapping for this. See that? See how I'm moving towards the end of that vertical dimension and it snaps to it? If I click there, then these two lines, even though they're in different planes, are ending at the same point. So there is another way to put in dimensions too. If I wanted to say I want to just, what is the dimension right here across this edge right here? What I could do is with dimensions, I can just click on that edge, pull that dimension up. Whoops. I stagger clicked, click, drag, and I can pull that dimension right up there. So any place there's a, just a single edge, you can drag the edge and just pull that dimension right off of it. Uh, this is a little bit different than if I want to dimension across points that aren't, you know, a single edge there. So, so for example, what is the distance from the top of this step to the top of the landing? Well, what I could do is I could click to this point, click to this point, and then as I move this around, I can actually get some different dimensions here. So if I come up vertical like this and click, that's the horizontal dimension between those steps. If I use those exact same points again, click, click, I can move my, whoops, that one was on me. Click, click, and I can pull this one out this way and say what's the vertical dimension between that same set of points. So dimensions is super quick, super easy to put in. Just do some clicking, click to the points you want, and get your dimensions on your screen. That was an easy one. Dimensions, no problem. Just click, click, dimension. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you tried dimensioning on SketchUp for iPad? What do you think about it? We like making these videos a lot. We like even more than showing something you want to see. Thank you.